Okay, Mr. Rops. And Mr. Co. And we are here to look at the dot scan, and we're going to show you a second method on how to find your formula, method two. You don't need both methods, but there's another way to do it. Okay. We still are going to make our table. Yep. We know that it's second differences, so it's going to be an X squared scenario. But if we look at our table really closely, well, let's make a table and other tables. Here's F. One, two, three, four. Yep. If we look at our diagrams... Let's just think about how we, we counted the diagrams, shall we, right. when we do it? Okay. So what would so like when we when we were counting the the one that we've drawn there, right? We ended up with four times five. Right. So this was four this way. Yeah. And five that way. This was four. This is five. So this was four times five. Okay. And then how do we do the other ones? This one was three times four to count the dots. Yeah. Three times four, two okay. and three, so two times three. This was one times two, one times two. So okay. if we look at that, I notice a pattern between these numbers and F. Yep. That is exactly F. So if I look at that, that is F. And I'm multiplying it by, well, these ones in the other column. Oh, we got green. <laughs> we're green on green. What's the pattern there? Well, they just look like they're one bigger, right? So if we call that F add one. Right, and so there is our potential formula. I know if I try this, D, well, if I just try that, right, I know I get one times two and it's going to work. So we should maybe verify it, make sure it works. Let's write down these values. You get 2, 6, 12, and 20. But if I want to verify it, I'm going to have FB5. I know this would be 5 times uh, 5 plus 1 is 6. And so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and there again it's five by six. It's going to be thirty. It works by the formula here: five times six, and thirty. It works for counting them as well. Right, exactly. Okay, so that would be method two. Still a table, and then we would go and we would write verify by pattern by number, and you would do this calculation for that.